Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Welcome 2021. Today we are going to change six uh, diesel injectors uh, for a BMW and uh, 57 engine uh, 3.0. Uh, I will take all the bits of plastic out of the way first, and then we were continue. We are going to continue and, and, and watch how how it's done. Um, in order to do this, you will need uh, some kind of diagnostics tester uh, because you will need to start the lift pump in the in the fuel tank, so uh, the air bubbles get out of the fuel system. So without this. You can do it also without it, but it will be hard uh, and long time uh, and time consuming for you because you will have to turn the ignition on and off and on and off a lot of times until all the air gets out of the system. So these are the injectors. Uh, right you now I don't have it with the camera. Let's see, yeah. Six pieces of this. Uh, part number from Bosch uh, it's 0445116024 these are Bosch uh, remanufactured re injectors uh, I've tried with six uh, refurbished injectors it didn't go so well so I decided to buy six new and, and replace them with uh, factory refurbished ones so we will continue on the car so what we need to do is to remove the fuel lines from each injector, uh, remove the return pipe, it's here, uh, it's not so good, I will try to get another light, so maybe you can better see, so we need to remove the fuel line, the return line, this one goes on all six, we we'll pop it up, put it to a side, remove the fuel lines, remove the injectors, uh, the holders for the clamps for the injectors you will need an E10 something like this and then a 19 to remove the pressure lines uh, then maybe with the 19 or 18 I don't know, remember exactly how big it is you will need to wiggle a little bit the injectors to pop out um, if they don't come out just wiggle it a little bit easy and pull in the same time you will see when when I will, when I will do it so you have to take them all out put a new in uh, take them out clean the the seats of the injectors uh, put new injectors with new uh, washers and then put back the fuel lines uh, take out the air from the from the system and then um, it should be all after that you have to code the injectors of course into the ECU uh, because each injector has its own calibration code uh, that has to be learned by the ECU, reset the values for the fuel pump, uh, reset the values for the fuel pressure and uh, the ECU should learn the new values after you change the injectors. So let's, let's get started. Yeah, you will need some uh, paper or rags to put under here so, it not, uh, so your, your diesel fuel will not go uh, all over the place. In order to take out the return valves this black cap must come up <coughs> this white cap has to come up and then the fuel line will just pop so as i said mine will come easy up because i have done this before <coughs> i'm going to disconnect all the injectors Your valve cover is dirty, I would recommend to clean it with some uh, uh, air um, before you start dismantling everything and then start dismantling. Now I'm going to start, I put some rags and paper. And start disconnecting the, or untightening the, the fuel line. From here and from the injector. One next injector here.
Okay, now I have them all uh, disconnected. I will remove the E11 clamps and get the injectors out. Uh, remember, after you remove the clamps, take one injector out and put it in the same order somewhere separately so you know this was one, two, three, four, five, six. If you need to put them back again or, or whatever, uh, remember to, to make some, some, some marks. I, on mine, I made some paint marks. When noted one two three four and five four six uh, one two three four five six with some uh, with some paint dots, uh, so you remember where it's uh, each injector where it was its location. As an alternate uh, method, uh, you can look into the uh, ECU and you can uh, write down the calibration numbers, and then you will be able to see it. Remember this: my injectors, I have take them out two times before before so they are pretty clean uh, when you take out yours might look a little bit different and more dirty but you can just clean the outside so one out so this is the injector try to wiggle it easy and it should come out. If it doesn't come out, you get, I think, yeah, I think it's a 15, and then you can boost, just put the key on it and just wiggle it, and then easy, pull it up. So this is one from, from my car. I take it out, and I will put it aside. So you can see how it looks. And this is some uh, uh, ceramic grease. You have to put ceramic grease up to here when you put it back in. And here are the calibration number I was telling you about. Ah, oh, it's very hot. Okay, now I have to clean the seats of the injectors. Let's see if we can see better how they look like. Let's see if we can take a Pick inside. Need to put white and the camera in the same time. So this is pretty clean. This got some dirt. Okay. This got some dirt. And so long, all the six. I have to clean them before we put the. The new injectors. Uh, in order to clean them, I bought a special brush. Uh, you attach it to a drill, and you put this into the hole, and then you clean the the seating. Um, some people are also reworking the, the seating. Uh, I've checked mine and it doesn't need uh, that process. Before you install the new injectors, uh, take a piece of paper and note the, the coding. So this is the, the new one. As you can see, it's coming with caps and new washer. And this is the number you will have to note. Let me see if I can bring it down. So 
So you will have one, you will have six letters and number for the um, volume calibration and then you will have the last number which is the voltage calibration. I wanted to get six with the same voltage calibration. Uh, it uh, was not possible. Uh, I got five with the same voltage calibration H and one with, uh, with the voltage calibration G. So let's see how this, this will work. So I have installed three. Now I'm putting number four. I will leave the caps on until I have to reconnect the routine. So no dust, no nothing comes in. So now all the injectors are in place. We have to put the clamps and they have to be torqued at 26 newton meters. One is done. Two. So now that we have all connected, we are going to, to connect the fuel lines. As I don't have a torque, a wrench, a torque wrench for these screws, I will just tighten by the hand and feel. And then after we start the engine we will drive and then come back and check for, for leaks. Okay, now the connectors, electrical ones. We're pushing here a click. That means they are locked. And then the fuel return line. The fuel return line, we will put them, it will, it will have to come more or less all at once on.
Okay, so here we are done. We have just to uh, start the lift pump, let the engine, uh, let the lift pump uh, run for about three minutes, and then we will try to start. So what we have here, it's a launch. I go into the system selection, drive, engine control management. And I will say, no, back, special functions, bleeding, fuel system. So, three minutes, we have to let it run. So it ran for about three minutes. We'll see now next. Uh, they will say to start the engine and really run at idle for a few minutes, but I will not do this one for now. I will just uh, code uh, the new injectors first and reset the uh, adaptation values. Okay, we go back and let's see adjustments, injector rate adjustment, perform injector rate adjustment. These are the old values, the old injectors, and now I'm going to code the new injectors. So enter for one. BK Okay, two If I enter one incorrectly at the end it will tell me that I've entered incorrectly one of them And now I have to save. And they say check the values. Yes. Saved. End of test module. Okay. Let's check them. Injector rate adjustment. Perform. Yeah. It saved them all. Okay. I go back now. And now we will try to start it. Let's see. We go back and say bleeding. Bleed it. Okay. Okay. Let the pump run a little bit. And then I go and say next and try to start engine. So now it says turn on the engine and it will accelerate by itself. Let's see. So I drove around a little bit, uh, feels good, sounds good, uh, engine uh, it's okay, the value of the injectors it's all within parameters, um, all plus minus um, uh, 0 0.4, the only one that uh, it's a little bit on the plus side 0 0.4 is the number 2 which had the voltage calibration code with uh, G and one three four five six uh, they all had calibration code uh, ending with h um, i could not get 
all six with H, but uh, the engine sounds good, the car pulls nice. Uh, I think I can live with this uh, number two with the beast uh, on the plus side value. Now I'm going to check for leaks and then clean one more time the uh, valve cover and then put everything back uh, as it should. So, um, you see it's not so complicated, uh, you can see here the e-screws, um, sorry for the view of the camera before. Um, so you can see here the clamps, you have one, two, three, four, five, six of these, you have to take them out, put them in and uh, it's not such a complicated job. The only thing you need, it is a tester because you need to code the injectors and uh, after you code the injectors you have to um, bleed the fuel system, reset the fuel pump, reset the adaptation of the ECU. Uh, it's recommended when you change uh, injectors, uh, says BMW. So that was it for, for today. If you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment down below and uh, I'll try to answer everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye.